welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brittany and I am with my husband, Tunis. Uh, we decided to make the most out of our day today. Uh, if you're from Ontario, you know that we are currently in a lockdown and we're not allowed doing any overnighters in, in Crown Land or in any provincial park. So we decided to make the most out of a crummy situation and we're just doing a full day trip. We came out here extremely early. We left the house at like, I don't know, five o'clock gathered a bunch of wood when we got here. It was super accessible. It's a pretty small lake that a lot of people know about. Uh, ironically enough, if you cross the lake and kind of just trek into the woods like a kilometer, you're in Algonquin Park. So I guess this is as close as we're gonna get for now. Uh, Baba's with us. I don't know if you can see her in a shop, but she's here. And since we're not doing too much trekking today, she, she can come even with her bummed leg. All right, so easy plan for today we've already made a fire we collected wood this morning left you out of it because it was pretty dark and you guys have seen that before uh, so we decided to make a hearty ass breakfast we bought the cast iron it's gonna be delicious we haven't eaten breakfast this morning we've been cutting wood and stuff so I've worked up quite an appetite and I'm sure he has too yep always hungry <laughs> uh, all right so we're gonna get that done then we're gonna take our canoe out because she's been in storage all winter. This is the first time we have her out. Uh, her name is Lady May, if you guys are wondering. We bought her in May. I know it's not original, but whatever. Uh, and this lake is uh, stocked with splake, I think it is. So maybe we'll catch some splake and have that for supper. <laughs> yeah, good job, lover. That was funny. <laughs> One perk of easy access lakes. For the big boy today. Let that warm up. One to ten, ten being crispy. How crispy do you want your bacon? Seven. Seven? Six? Yeah. I don't know. I don't like it crispy. I don't so. know. I'm, so I'm surprised you said seven. I don't know. Like, well, I guess crispy is like dead, right? Yeah. Like when it's just like garbage. So yeah, we'll, Dust say, in your mouth. we'll say six. Well, I think these rice are about six. Woo! Oh, that looks good. Let's have a face off and see who can uh, do one handed egg cracking better. We've both been practicing, so I'm nervous. Ooh, perfect. Two for two? Oh no. Professional. All right, I guess we're both two for two. Good job, baby. <laughs> we made a little oven with pieces of wood, just because I don't want to risk popping my yolks when I flip them, so we're just doing it sunny side up. 
almost ready. Almost there, love. Okay, so we're back at the car. That was a beautiful paddle, I love her. Yeah, Unreal. Yeah, it feels, feels great to get the canoe back out. That's uh, the first time for us for 2021. Mm -hmm. The wind started to kick up more, so it uh, became less fun. We're just basically going in circles while trying to fish. I believe I had a bite. Um, mm -hmm. Rookie mistake, the drag was too loose, so I don't want to set the hook. It just ripped more line out, and if it was a fish, it was for sure gone. Um, when we got back, we noticed we had some company. So someone else decided to come and enjoy uh, the woods, obviously for a little longer than a, a day trip. Mm -hmm. But uh, can't blame them. You know, it's better than gathering with other people. So yeah, we're just going to follow the rules. And uh, we're not done. We're done paddling this mm -hmm. lake, but we're going to go try to explore some other areas and um, see what see what our backyard has to offer. Thanks. Well, me and Britt just rolled up to 
a lake is half in the park, half outside the park. So, any of you viewers, which lake are we at? You tell me. Beautiful spot though. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since we've been here. Care to explain what you're doing, darling? I'm airing down our tires. Okay. Because we're doing some hardcore overlanding in our Subaru, and I want to make sure we don't pop a tire. <laughs> I want to make sure you don't make us pop a tire. Yeah. So by airing down, you see a lot of Jeep guys and stuff do it. It's so that you increase your surface area because your tire will lay flatter this way, and then also you guys got more cushion because it's not as pumped up. So less chance of a puncture if you go over a sharp rock. Um, we'll show you after or on the way to this lake. Not that it was like extremely difficult, but since we don't have, we aren't carrying a full replacement spare tire, I definitely don't want to pop a tire back here because. <laughs> How long is it going to take us to walk out? Well, <laughs> to get to a paved road, this it would be 22 kilometers and that's 10 of which is down this like ATV trail and then the other 10 is like the actual logging road so I said to play it safe we're gonna air down oh I just air down too much air down and then I'll use the compressor to make sure they're all the same PSI and that way, like I said, you have a little bit more cushion and surface area in case you get into a sticky situation. Again, we're not doing anything hardcore. Some people might think it's over, overkill, but I'd much rather... Play it safe and sorry? Make sure that we get home on time. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that we don't break the rules about COVID camping. <laughs> yeah. Here, Force you, us to camp outside. I'll get you to put that back on, lover. And then can you grab the compressor? It's on Bubba's side. Are you waiting to go? Yeah. Alright, so we found a nice suitable campsite for, I guess, yeah, so people use this as a campsite. It's right by a nice little lake behind me here uh, to make supper. We're having sausages. We're going to do it old school on a stick, but we got it set up like a spit. 
So we're gonna stick some dogs on, let it drip and uh, rotisserie it over the fire. Um, I wasn't too happy about this fire pit when we first showed up. People more or less have just been burning on virgin ground. So I put a base plate of rock and built up lots of rocks around it. As you can see, that's pretty good. I moved this big guy here, surrounded it with small rocks. Again, I added a base plate. Uh, around the base plate, I filled it in with little rocks. And then all the uh, embers don't uh, get to the ground just because we are in a very heavily treed area. Uh, the ground's still fairly moist because it's early spring, but uh, it'll dry out. And I can already see some big roots from these big white pines right here. So, just to, you know, leave no trace, right? Hey, lover? Yes, leave no trace. So, you know, why do more damage than you have to? We're just burning, having a small fire, burning uh, mostly sticks. Like Britt said, it's mainly, what'd you say, lover? A supper fire. So we just made it strictly to cook, so we don't want anything big. We have something hot and quick that makes a lot of coals. So we're burning just dry sticks and keeping it small just because it is still very, very windy. And then we have for supper, what are we having, lover? On the menu tonight is some sausage, mild Italian. Is that what it is? Mild Italian? Yeah, that spice. Uh, we will be cooking it on this little spit rotisserie cooker. Uh, and to top off our sausage, we will be having sauerkraut and mustard. It is going to be delicious after a long day in the woods. Alright, so we just finished we just finished re-airing up. So always remember if you do air down off-road that you reinflate your tires before you get on pavement just because if you're going highway speeds it's unsafe and your tires are gonna wear down a whole lot faster. But uh, yeah. Great day guys. We had a pretty awesome day. We got to go paddling. We saw how many partridge lover? Thirteen. We saw thirteen partridge. Britt uh, yeah. Britt and I saw a big uh, bear, we believe to be a boar, just because of how like, he was massive. It was a massive bear for spring. We thought maybe it was fall, just because it was a big... It was huge. Yeah, a big, big, fat bear. That's so round. Britt couldn't uh, get the camera <laughs> on fast enough, Listen. but oh well. Saw a bear, saw a 12 or 13 partridge, got to go paddling, had some great food. All in all, it was a great day. Fantastic day. Right. And Check out all the a little day late, but yesterday yeah. was Earth Day, so we decided yeah. to do our part. I mean, we, we, tip, we typically pack, uh, pick up garbage every time we come out, but for Earth Day yesterday, we picked up garbage, found a mortar oil can, found a hole. Got that. Got a whole thing of nastiness here. A mixture of everything but the most disappointing thing is finding motor oil there's also an oil filter in here we also found no where's the exhaust tip garbage yeah look at all this stuff anyways <laughs> well we found an exhaust tip off a car in here too so it's a whole bag of tricks yeah earth's a little happier this kind of upsets me that people are pouring to start fires or changing their oil in the bush either way it's kind of upsetting anyways guys if you enjoyed the video please consider liking commenting subscribing if you like canoe trips camping hunting fishing 
anything outdoors basically bushcraft consider subscribing we got lots more to come uh, until then thanks for watching i'm brit or sorry I'm brit. <laughs> how are you <laughs> i'm <laughs> i'm tunis Brittany. that's my wife Brittany, and we'll catch you next time okay take care mm -hmm.